when you think your life is going to turn out a different way than it has, it's just the worst. I feel like I've really ruined What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux and the viewer's voice, Nick Snyder, and we're hey, back at it again with some more Ooh. drama in the house. Girl, they're so annoyed with this fan in me. Some more like... Okay, we need to expose Trisha Paytas. See if you can see what I see. Okay, there's all this drama going on about Trisha Paytas, Nick Accato Avocado, Bust at the House. I think, I think Nick Accato Avocado, that's his name? Are you ever sitting there, right? Well, let me paint the picture for you. I think he did it for views. I think he did it for views. Of course. Because he said, you said, he saved receipts this on Trisha. This happened for two years. years. You know how to start his boyfriend or husband, whatever it was. Oh, girl bought a cameo from Trisha, so they paid like the $300. Yeah, because she was charged $300. That then? Um, yeah, no, this happened, when did that happen? It's been like a month. Okay. It happened right as drama getting started. He paid $300? Yes. For a Trisha Paytas cameo? cameo? I think she was still charging the 300 because she got right across the internet for all that bullshit. Okay. And- Hold on, hold on. For those of you who are not caught up on the drama, she was charging $300 for a shout out. A minute shout out. And everyone was people, in an uproar. People paid. And people paid. People paid. But I'm she got hate. so much backlash. I'm not she, hating the hustle. She decreased it to what? What was the price now? Oh, I don't 75, know. 75, I think. Like 150. 150. Something. So now, Trisha Pays, you can she'll give you a shout out for 150. But okay. people Which, paid. Okay. It. I think Who 150 for? for her is okay. I think even 100 is okay for her. But. For her. That's biased. But, but people paid the $300 because she does literally anything. She, <laughs> she will show her freaking punani. Oh. She will make it talk. So push Ooh, lips punani, together, nani, nani, I know. like my Alfani. Oh <laughs> my gosh, anything She'll for $300? Yep. So ah. his husband bought him one. Okay, but what did he want her to do? I don't know what he wanted her to say. Like, hey, this is the best mukbang channel in the world. Yeah, well, she threw shade at him again. Oh, hold on, hold on, because there's pumps. Some people don't understand. Mm. Nick Akato Avocado is another YouTuber who does mukbangs yes. and cries on camera professionally. And so I have feel. Two criers here. Yeah, I feel that Nick Akato Avocado is a little bit problematic because sometimes he does cry a lot and does stuff for views. Well, he just got read across Twitter real quick because he has an OnlyFans and it did not say 18 plus. But I put him onto that, and now it says 18 bucks. Ooh. You can tell me, you know, these kids are out here. He's freaking like pinching his nips and all that shit. Ooh. Do you like a nipple tweak? No. Oh, I, I've had so much surgery and plastic surgery, I don't even feel it in my nipples. I, I told the doctor, I was like, you can go ahead and botch it. I'm not going to use it anyway. No. I don't use it. Do you suckle in it? Do I suck? Suckle. What's that? On mm -hmm. someone else? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the house. Me, I don't feel anything. So I mm -hmm. tell them, I don't feel a thing. Don't do it. Because they're like, oh, uh, I like it. No, don't do not do anything because I don't feel anything. You know? Weird. You're wasting your time. I don't feel mm -hmm. anything at all. Okay. But we need to talk about this. Nick Accato, do you think he is problematic? Of course. Okay. And it was different because Tati, we never had any instances with her in the past. Yes. This one, I see Nico Cavo Avocado always mm -hmm. pulling stunts for views. So his video was showing the receipts two years later. I would be upset. Well, wait, 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 because people, it's not just that though. Okay, yeah, fill this in. He was trying to say that Trisha was going across the internet, saying that he was fat and a bunch of other things. But in his video, it's been proven by Dustin Daly, I think you proved this, mm -hmm. that he cut the clip. So Trisha was on, I believe it was a vegan cheetah, and he, she was like, well, so he's fat, but he cut off the part where she said, like, why do you care? Like, why does it matter? Oh, so, Shady, Shady the House! Shady right the now. House! So he just, so Nick and Carl, Carl just plays you, he spin the narrative. Yes. He spin the narrative, okay. But Trisha got a lot of hate to the point where she had a nervous breakdown. Let's roll a clip, here we go. Hey guys, I hope everyone's having a really good Memorial Day. Um, I am still in bed. So hard to get out of bed. <laughs> but I appreciate all the nice DMs and messages and texts. Um, lots of really, really nice people. And like, I think once I'm able to get out of bed, I'll be able to like, be on my game more. <laughs> Actually, never felt this like 
much depression in my life where I just like stay in bed all day. It's like really, really weird. Um, and a lot of people are like, oh my God, it's so manipulative for you to put that out there. It's like, it's fucking real. I just put it out there so fucking people know um, that fucking depression's fucking real. And like, you can have all the help and support in the world. And I do. I have so many people reaching out and I have a great therapist. But sometimes it still fucking just gets you down. And it can be crippling. And I've never stayed down for this long. So... Just trying my best. Like I'm pretty resilient. And I can um, usually find something worth getting up for, right? Like I can be like, okay, we're going to do this today. Or, you know, I could go see my mom today or something. But I just don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to get out of bed. I get up for like a second. And I'm just like, what's the point? <laughs> Is like my outlet and my entertainment. I'm not really watching TV or YouTube or anything, so talking to you guys on here is my entertainment. Um, anyways, like I said, messages always, they always help actually, like reading people's like stories, like help so much. So thank you guys. Um, I thought I was going to be back sooner. But it might just take another week off. Uh, but I do have pre-recorded videos going up this week. So there's that. I want to reiterate that depression isn't caused by any person or any one thing. It's, in, it's inside of you. And that's what's fucking scary. It's like no one can fix it. Not one thing can fix it. Not one event can fix it. Like... You know, a lot of people say it helps to get out of the house and like, trust me, I want to get out of the house so bad. But I'm like physically crippled, like even to get up to go to the bathroom, it like causes me pain. It's so, so awful. I actually had things scheduled for this week that I think I'm going to just go ahead and cancel. I just don't think I'm up to it. And like that's the first for me. Like if it's work related or video creating or something, I, I'm always like up for it. I like just don't think I am this week. I don't want my whole YouTube channel to just be me crying all the time about depression. That's so awful. And like I don't want to trigger anyone else's depression, you know, but I put these out there for awareness and also because I get a lot of help and I get a lot of positivity and response. And like that helps me a lot right now. So like thank you like truly it's that's the only reason I do talk to my mom and sister a few times a day and they're really wonderful so don't think I don't have anyone and a lot of friends have reached out so I'm like okay and people are like checking out on me so it's not like I'm completely alone I do have a therapy session on Wednesday so Definitely get my butt out and go to that. <laughs> when you think your life is going to turn out a different way than it has, it's just the worst. <laughs> I feel like I've really ruined my life in a lot of ways. <laughs> really hate the person I am. <laughs> I just want to change. <laughs> I wish I could change everything <laughs> about me. I just I am as a person I just I can't for anyone who thinks that this is like something I'm putting on like this is actually more embarrassing and humiliating than I ever could imagine like people reaching out to me or watching my stories that people like didn't know any of this about me it's like it's really it's really really embarrassing it's not it's not cute. It's not anything. It's it's fucking embarrassing. It, it just this is just where I'm at. I'm just at a loss. I did monetize my last video about what I'm going through, and obviously these aren't monetized. It's just something that I feel that I need to just put out there and talk. Oh yeah, this video is sponsored the house by Manscaped, number one in men's below the belt grooming. So check out check this out. You don't know about this, right? 
This I is the Manscaped Ball Wipe. It is for men, it is for your travel necessities. You just kind of tear it open, okay? And here is your wipe for your balls. Do for you men. Your balls sniff it? Hmm? No, no. Give an Wait. No, no, no. Here, it has a scent to it. I'm saying for the views, I would sniff some testicles. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a really nice, like airy, fragrant, light fragrance. Do you like the way it smells or not? Be honest. No, I do. Yeah, I do. It smells good. So it comes in a pack of five. So definitely check it out. If you're a guy, if you're a girl, this is this is the man wipe, the ball wipe. You know, mm -hmm. perfect for travel. So thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. So there you have it. What do you think? Is Trisha Paytas on opioids, going through the gigs, dealing with depression and anxiety? I believe she is based on the clip. Well, people are saying that she's canceled. Do you think Trisha can be canceled? You can never cancel anybody. Like that, but do you think in everyone else's eyes? No, I, oh gosh. I can't get Trisha Paytas, I'm biased. You're biased. Trisha Paytas is queen of the world YouTube. She cannot be canceled. Hey, she just can't. Okay, no, I wish. I haven't got Trisha Paytas checks yet. Matter of fact, yes, I did. One of Trisha Paytas <laughs> checks just cleared. Yeah. I went to Chanel. Let me show you what I bought at the Chanel store. Ooh. And I really want to know what you guys think about this Trisha Paytas avocado spaghetti drama. Okay, here we go. I know. Thank you, Tr thank you, Trisha Paytas, for my for my um Chanel bag. Okay, here we go. Ooh, look how nice. It's so cute. Ooh. Ooh. They got that tag. Look how much it was. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was three hundred. This I is think different from all the times that. that you go in there and steal. Yeah. This, you is, actually this, have is, the tag, guys. this is different from the times mm -hmm. I shoplift. It is a lambskin with mm. gold hardware in your face. Okay. So there you go. Nice. Thank you. So let's wrap up this drama. Okay. What do you think? I think that they're both wrong. Well, because when this happens, everyone's. Are you going to talk about Nick? Yeah, I, mean, I got so many are messages. You, I'm still getting are them. you going to talk about Trish and Paytas? Are you you're not yeah. talking about Trish and Paytas? Well, you're biased. Can we go Therefore, over that? I unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. We need to go over that mm -hmm. though, because one, no one was talking about it because it was James. Nobody was James. talking Sorry. about. Busted ass Nick Akato because it was all about James mm -hmm. Charles. This is it. All the drama was about James and all this mm -hmm. micro drama was popping off and nobody cared. Nobody cared. And now y'all wanna y'all now y'all wanna know the tea after it's already dead and cold because that one comment mm -hmm. this is cold ass tea. You should have reported this two months ago. Mm -hmm. Why are you talking about it now? Well, this is why, because James Charles drama is fizzling it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, but did you hear? What that James I'm Charles? canceled no. now? What that James I'm Charles? canceled? What James Charles did today! <laughs> <laughs> did you hear what James I Charles can't. did today? She what is not she doing today? Girl. She released a song. No, she's still making jokes about that lawyer. No! Is there receipts? Mm, there's receipts. I'll try to find the receipts. Get the receipts. Oh. Still making jokes about that lawyer. Someone's getting cocky. That's what it is. It's like, okay, okay, James, you got away. You got away with it, you didn't learn anything, and now you're being cocky and showing your ass all over the internet. He's trying to poke the bear. He's gonna poke the bear. Keep poking the bear. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. But you know what? Let them poke the bear all day long. Let them, because there'll be, there'll be another scandal. Poke on, because he, AdSense is called, honey. No. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, God. God damn it! No, is it, you know, do you think James will have another scandal? Of course. Yeah. He of so course. He thinks, I, I feel, and I'm saying, and not because I'm biased, yes, right. but I feel that James <laughs> Charles thinks he is untouchable. Uh, I'm going to put a poll in the comments. Do you think James Charles feels that he is untouchable or is untouchable? Yes or no? <clears throat> let's, let's wrap this one up because do you think that they were both in the wrong? Was Trisha right? Was Avocado wrong? Look, I think they're both in the wrong. Mm -hmm. I think he wanted the views. He's not hurt Waited two because years. Of his, he said that her fans were coming after him and all that. So they always pull the, oh, the fans are coming to get you. They, you they, know, do, they do play that card. The fans do. are coming to get me. What fans? What fans? Last time what? I checked, it's, she didn't have that many. They're leaving. They're Where unsubscribing. Are her fans? They're unsubscribing. The social blade's red. <laughs> the social blade. Wait, Ooh. no. Because Trisha Page uploaded a video called I'm Cancelled. Remember? Yes. Which is because so her funny. social blade was all red. She sat down and she said, let's cancel it again. I think Nick Akaro Avocado is playing the victim. Oh. I think he's playing the victim. They do. But I don't know because I'll probably get attacked by the avocados 
and the sloth community. The sloth. Because he likes sloth. He always says, "What's up, sloth?" Nigga Carlo, that's what he calls his his, his minions, sloths. He's calling them animals. <laughs> Lazy animals. <laughs> he calls them sloths. Okay. Look, I don't know much about Nick Carlo Avocado. I just know that every now and then he'll get on camera and cry about something, and it seems very suspicious. I know that he came for me one time. Oh, he'll come for me. No, he came he'll for come me. for you. The whole Veronica he'll Wayne come thing for came. everybody in the house. If he don't get them views, mm -hmm. he'll come, honey. She'll come full throttle. Yep. And you know what? Nick Avocado is basically the male version of Trisha Paytas. That's what that's what the T is. They're these two these two people are too similar and they keep bumping heads the house. They're that's the truth. Pussies. Yes. <laughs> That's what they're doing. That's the trick. They're here. See? That's, that's what's sisters. going on. That's in that's sister. I think that's what it is. But I think that Nigga Cotto learned from Trisha that a lot of people do what Trisha do and they, they fail. That, they, is that, true. that doesn't work for them. Like, what works for Trisha is not going to work for you. And I think that Nigga Cotto Avocado had a respectable channel and somewhere he started pulling stunts for views Did you and watch, crying. Did huh? You? Did you watch the show? I watched some film. Wait, like, I have watched a few of his videos. Yes, I have. Because someone I know loves mukbangs, and they're like, oh, I watched this person, I watched this person, and he was one of them. And I remember one day they called me, they said, man, they just always crying. It's always so much drama. I just want to see them eat. It's good. When you get on camera and cry, you get views. Everyone knows that. You get views, and then you play. This how You want views? This is how you do it. Here's the formula. You get on camera, you cry, and then you say, the fans are coming at me. Boom, and then you play victim. Does That's that really the three happen? card. Boom, boom, boom. And that you play it in the one video, and next thing you know, you'll feel like you're untouchable. James Charles. <laughs> you're James the Charles. Fans are coming for me. Mm. Oh my god. That's the girl. Bye. Can't believe I admitted that on camera. I can't believe I, can't believe I, can't believe I admitted that on camera. What do you think your formula is for getting views? Not you, but like, you know what I'm saying? I just laid out my three. Come on camera, say that you're in a dark place when you're Millionaire buy a goddamn lamp. <laughs> what? That's what you should do. That's what they all do. No, no. James, Tati, Jeffrey, they all said, I was in a dark place. Oh my God. They did. We're in a dark place right They're now. We're in a dark place. We're in a dark place right now. We turned this, the light on. It's crappy light. It's dark anymore. Anyways, guys, that's going to get too real. Let us know what you think about the drama about Trisha. Paytas and uh, Nick Cod Avocado, and we're we'll rereading your comments. If you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you enjoyed Nick Snyder's viewers voice commentary, I'll put the link down below. Definitely check him out. We love him so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, thanks so much.